This was his domain for the last 12 years. Nobody else was allowed here. I can count six swans at the moment. Two further down there. The most this old river has seen in over 12 years. Any other swans came here? They got the fright of their bloody lives. Get off my river! Tell me from the start how you got involved in him. He just turned up on your doorstep, literally. No, he turned up on the river. Right. And he, <coughs> he just, he, from, from, a, from arriving, it was a character. He was a, just a character, he was so imposing. Right, maybe a So, I, I fed him, like we feed them all. And he followed me back. And that was it. That was the start of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he was ju just sort of so, so imposing. Do you, Yes, I met him several times. <laughs> no one could ignore him. He was so gutsy. He didn't stand for any messing. There was no no way if he wanted if he wanted to stand in the middle of the road, then the car went round him or Reverse. took another route <laughs> because he wasn't going to move. Yeah. Some people didn't like it, but I thought it was great. <laughs> Get on with it. <laughs> Get on with it. And then when he, um, when they had the, the first brood, they were only, the, the signets were only a couple of days old. They were tiny. And he brought them to the front, brought them all up. And that's just, just how it, it went. And then other people started to get involved. Did he have any specific time when he'd turn up? Or it could be any time? Could be any time. Any time. It could be any time, just when he felt like it. Whether <coughs> he was hungry, whether he wanted some company. Because one particular time, they'd had a brood, got the, the signals, and this... Friday night, one of them disappeared. Whether it was the fox or what, we don't know. So it it come up obviously then on the Saturday, and we're a signet missing. On Sunday morning, when we opened that door, they were all asleep at the front door. <laughs> and I've got that picture somewhere. You know, whether he, he just felt safe yeah. if he, he got himself and them there. He'd knock at the door. There's big marks all down my porch where, you know, I'd say, come on, you know, get a move on, I need feeding. So he'd literally knock on the door? Yeah, bang on the <laughs> door. You can see the bite marks. And did the signets the pick this up as well? Um, or not as much? They would come in. Come into the but they wouldn't do the knocking. No, they would. They won't do the chewing it and knocking it. Now we do this every time he had a brood of signets. He'd always bring them up. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as they were a couple of days old. And what happened on one occasion? Barry and Lorraine that live at the other end. Yes, you oh, know, twelve yeah. to whatever, whatever, next to the end house. They were so tiny, the signets, and they plopped off the edge of the park, but they couldn't get back up. <laughs> so what he did was, he went indoors and he got a tray 
to make a little ramp or a ramp as he's putting the ramp up and father sees it he whacked it <laughs> and broke it <laughs> but that was just him he yeah. made sure they were safe they he always <coughs> made sure they were safe uh, it was a they were wonderful parents until this last brood and he seemed, we noticed some, we thought it was strange behaviour because he would be sat outside and the signets maybe a number of yards away. He wasn't close to them. And that never like happened he, before. That had never happened before. All right. Now whether he, he, he I don't know, whether he was, feeling older, whether he couldn't be bothered, whether he, he wasn't feeling quite well, we don't know. But apart from not being as protective towards the signets, there was no other symptom that there could be anything wrong with him. Right. He was still chasing the geese, he was having none of that, he was up and down that river making sure there was nothing that he didn't like that was, that was on there. It was, it was, it was strange. But obviously it was only after he died that you really start thinking, were there any other signs that... You could have picked up on. That we could have picked up. Mm -hmm. And there was only one, and that was that um, towards the back end of the year, they always flew off, the pair of them, for a couple of weeks. We didn't know why, whether there was a food source that they could find somewhere else that they needed, and that was why they stayed away. I don't know, but they'd always come back. This last year, they were gone for six weeks. Had they taken the signets with them? They took the signets. We'd gone on holiday. They took the signets the third week in October. And I didn't, s he came back for one day in November. And he stayed a day, sat out there, went, came, they both came back then on Christmas Eve. And then of course he died in January. Which was, it, it was devastating for me because he, he wasn't a bird, he was, he was my pet. Yeah, part of the family. He, he was, he was, he was my, my pet. I mean, when the, when the river was iced over in the, the two really bad winters that we got, the only place that they could be would be down by the brook where the water was flowing. Was flowing. So between us, we set up, we had times, you know, like with Kay or with Lorraine or whoever for feeding because they were hungry. You pulled them through? They got through those, those winters, yeah. Yeah. Looks like these two are the ones that have taken over. <laughs> <laughs>